the stigma is that you are, you know, unstable and volatile and, you know, talking to yourself and the aliens and the, the tin hats so the aliens can't read your brain. That's the, the stigma of mental health. Some of the uniqueness of dealing with students with mental health challenges are that you can't see it. They are, some of them are my brightest students, and yet they're struggling with barriers at every level of their life. It's not in the academics, it's getting up to get to school, it's getting on a bus, it's getting up the stairs, it's getting to class. Self-talk is a big thing, a big strategy like when you're sitting on the bus and you hear people laughing and you kind of assume it's you and you self-talk going, no, no, you're just, you're just being anxious. Like they don't even know you. Why would they, you know, waste their time laughing at you? With me, it goes in cycles. So my family and my girlfriend know that I'm more susceptible to going downhill and going into depression in the winter. Um, so that's just kind of something that we all kind of keep an eye on. Oh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again too. What we do is we pay very close attention to each individual. They have their own unique barriers that are different than anybody else. Public transportation, getting on the bus or the train, is a barrier for hope. She can't drive a car. It causes a lot of anxiety. And so we needed to find her a placement close to home. I had to work with our uh, Bachelor of Education Department to advocate for hope so that she could have that placement changed. I've never disclosed because I've never felt that I had like a reason to. I've never had an issue, so I didn't disclose. Yes, there is that accommodation that needs to be made, but afterwards not to be looked at differently, not to be treated differently, not to you know, have any extra special attention. I do think that a prof or a teacher should approach any student that they have concerns about. I'm not saying, you know, you should diagnose and tell them you have to go find help. I am saying, you know, I've seen these changes in you, these dramatic changes over the past couple of weeks. Is there anything that I can help you with or you'd like to talk to me about? So that's personally what the way I think it should be gone about. Mm -hmm.